Good morning, good morning. It's me again, looking a little raggedy, but that's all right, because I got a word for you. So listen, I just want to log on. It's Mindset Monday, and I am so pumped. I'm so ready. I am bringing you some a smile. Those of you that are listening to me or if you're part of the Replay Nation, good morning. My name is Latrice Bartley, and I am here to encourage you in the word. I am the CEO and founder of Purposefully Living and listen, I just finished working out, but y'all know what that means, right? Y'all know what that means, spiritual download. So I'm here to encourage you in the word of God because every Monday I show up to remind you that there is a mindset that we must have as we go through this week, as we go through every day that God has given us. And where do we get that mindset? From the word of God. Romans 12 and 2 reminds us that we daily have to renew this mind. Listen, we have to renew this mind according to the word of God. We want our thoughts. We want our viewpoints. We want everything to align to God's word so that we can purposefully live, so we can walk out um, the purpose that God has created us for. So listen, that's all I'm here for. Y'all ready? Are you ready? This simple. This is a simple word. I was listening to something this morning and that thing caught hold. Um, and it is a song called God is Able. So that's what this morning is about. God is able. And it's all about the word. I'm just going to jump right in. Ephesians 3 and 20. And I want to read it in the New Living Translation first. Okay. Now, all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us. At work within us at work within us. Hear me. All right. Now, all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might think or ask. I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm, I'm kind of a go-getter. Um, you know, when I put my mind to something, I'll do it. So I don't shoot low. I, I, I don't embark the, you know, for the minimum. But this scripture said, that we serve a God who is able through his mighty power. Hear these emphasis. Remember what I said. Listen, I'm, it's already coming back to me. This is going to be all word. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 20 amplified. He who pays attention to the word of God will find good. He who pays attention to the word of God will find good. He who pays attention, concentrate, place emphasis on the word of God will find good. The Bible said in his word that God is able through his mighty power working in us to accomplish infinitely more than we can act. So with him, it's like you got double, quadruple, like we talking about multiplication, not addition. Let me go down to the message version. I love this. Just let's just say it like this. God can do anything, you know. Let me say it one more time. God can do anything, you know. What's anything? He's a healer. He's a provider. He's an encourager. He can take you, your business, uh-oh, losing my ear, please, from one point to another. He can write the book. He can keep your marriage. He can do a new thing in your marriage. God can do anything, you know. Let me say it like the message version one more time. God can do anything, you know. Do you know? Let's keep on going. It says in the message version, God can do anything, you know, far more than you could ever imagine or, or guess or request in your wildest dreams. Y'all, I got some dreams. But how does he do it again? He does it by working within us. So that means you got to be available. So that means you have to let him work in you. So that means you got to live a surrendered life. Okay, one more version, one more version, y'all. Here we go. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we can ask or think according to the power at work within us. Come on. Did y'all hear that? Let me say it one more time. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly then we can, I'm sorry, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly um, than all we ask or think according to the power at work within us. Now, y'all know I like words. Listen, I, I, I ain't gonna even get into that, but that's a whole nother um, platform coming. Words have power. And a lot of times we think we know them, but when you start looking up words and mixing it with the word of God, like 
taking the wisdom of God and actually defining words, y'all, is mind blowing. So let's look up Abel. I know you like Latrice, girl. I got a master's, I got a doctor. I know what Abel, just indulge me. Abel means having the power, skill, means an opportunity to do something. So let me go back. My God, who has the power, the skill, the means, and does he have the opportunity? Let me stop you right there. Because the scripture says, now all glory to God, who is able. Like, we don't need to, we ain't even got to question that. We serve an omnipotent God. We serve a God who's mighty. He's called Adonai. He's master of all. He, there's nothing that he can't do. He's Elohim. If it ain't created, he can create it. He is a strong creator God. So, in other words, the definition reminds us, listen, he has the power. He has the skill. He has the means. And it even says opportunity. But I believe that's where you come in. That's the mindset I want to give you this morning. Does he have the opportunity? Because he needs a vessel. See, we want God to do things. But do we really want him to do it the way he want to do it? So I want to encourage you this morning. Let him. He, he need an opportunity. Can he use you? He said, I can do far greater than you could even imagine. But that's something that he's got to work within you. So you have to be willing to surrender. You have to be willing to lay down your will for his will. You have to be willing to accept his time schedule. You have to be willing to say, Lord, I'm going to crucify flesh. I'm going to go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to yield my marriage. I'm going to yield my money. I'm going to yield my parenting. I'm going to surrender it all. And he said, when you do that, he said, oh, I can do something that's mighty, mighty, mighty great in your life. But the opportunity is yours. You got to let them in. So that's what I want to encourage you with. Now, let's look up one more word, y'all. Because I also love in the New Living Translation, it says that he is able um, to accomplish infinitely more than we might think or act. So what does accomplish mean? It means achieve or complete successfully. Come on now. Those that's in management. Come on, let's think about it. You know, sometimes when you delegate them projects, you like, Lord, let them come through, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know, the teamwork, we got to get together. We got to hit this goal, right? But when you're dealing with God, you already starting from an advantage point. You talk, you're not going to someone that is like, I hope he can do this. I hope he don't drop the ball. I hope he listened to the directions. No, it says when we talking about our heavenly father, when we talking about God, it says we talking about somebody who has the power, skill, and means to achieve and accomplish you, everything within you successfully. Come on now. But remember, you got to walk it out his way. And this is the last thing I want to leave you. How does all of this happen? Because the title of this is God is able. You got to believe. All that I just said sounds good. And you can be like, all right, Latrice, I know that's right. He can use me. He can accomplish it. Me and Jesus, we the majority. Do you believe though? Because when you believe something, this is what it says. You accept it as true. I want to encourage you on this Mindset Monday, coming straight fresh from the gym, stinking all. Listen, I want to encourage you to partner with God. I just started out saying this is so important to me because there is a mindset that we have to go through every day. And it starts with, listen, pay attention to the word of God. Everything that God says, it has to be accepted as truth. It doesn't matter what you think on. Even if your thoughts are not like that, which the Bible lets us know our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways are not his ways. So that's another reason why every day we got to renew our mind because sometimes how we see it, it's not how God sees it. So we got to say, Lord, align my mind, align my thoughts, align my habits, align my um, values to this word. God, I, I believe we got to say like David, Lord, search me this morning. Is there any wicked way in me? Is there anything that doesn't please you? Come on. I want to encourage you to get fit. Get focused, intentional, and tenacious about God first. What is his plan? What is his viewpoint? What does he say in the word? When we begin to get fit, y'all, listen, this body going to be right and tight. And this body is not just our physical, it's our mind, 
our spirit and our soul. God wants us in total health, but it starts when we pay attention to his word. It starts when we place emphasis and begin to take his word at face value. If he said it, I believe it and I'm going to walk it out until I see it. That's what we have to do. So I just wanted to encourage you this morning. God is able. What are you facing? God is able. Your marriage, he's able. That child, he's able. That business, he's able. Are you going somewhere different? Are you writing a business plan? He's able. What what you dealing with? He's able. Are you witnessing? Are you starting a, a small group? He's able. Y'all, I don't, are you like me homeschooling? He's able. Because guess what? All we have to do is give them access. When we open up our heart, when we begin to say, Lord, I want you to work within me. Child, come on here. He said, I do my best work then when you surrender. But he got to have an opportunity. See, we can't say, oh yeah, I want him to do exceedingly abundantly. I know, but then you're going to do it your way. That's not how it works. He said, it's the power working within us. And the power, that's the Holy Spirit, y'all. We got to allow the Holy Spirit. His voice is real, but you have to be willing to yield to it. You have to be willing to listen for it. You have to be willing to invite him in. So I just want to encourage you. And y'all already know, I told y'all, some Mindset Mondays, I'm going to be cute and some I'm not. Because it ain't about that. It's about the word, right? But here's the bottom line. All that I'm telling you is training. That's why I want to come like this. I want you to know to get fit. It requires tenaciousness. It requires taking this word at face value and walking it out. And is that always easy? No, it's doable though with the power, the Holy Spirit working within you because he's the one is leading us, guiding us, reminding us that, hey, yield, surrender, because what I can do through you is greater than what you can do on your own. It's in his strength. It's, isn't that, listen, do y'all understand how much of a load that is off? To think about, I got to run this business by myself. I got to raise these kids by myself. I got to pay. God didn't say that yo, you supposed to try to figure out how to support yourself, how to provide. I mean, listen, all y'all who that's, that's your responsibility. I'm Listen, I'm praying for you. But I'm about that Jesus life. I'm so thankful that I have a God who's already worked it out. And the work that I have to do is sit at his feet, say, Lord, I'm willing to listen. God, I'm willing to pay attention to your word and walk out what you're telling me. So I want to encourage you this morning. You serve a God who cannot fail. Let me say that one more time. You serve a God who cannot fail. And if you're looking at me and you don't know that God, this is an opportunity for you. He died. He, God sent his one only son, Jesus, to die for you. If it had just been you, he would have died for you. And all you have to do is receive him in your heart. Believe, believe that he's the son of God and receive him in your heart. Listen, it's that simple. The enemy try to make you feel like you've been doing this all your life. It ain't that easy. You're going to just believe in your heart. You're going to confess with your mouth that he's the son of God. That's all you got to do. It's that quick. See, he tried to make it like something you had to work for. No, God, he already did the work. He gave his son. Jesus died on the cross for you. And listen, got up with all power. So when he got up, you got up. Listen, all, that's all you have to do. And just that quick, you in the family of God. But there's always something. I come from the old school church. See, the old school church ain't stopped there. They used to tell you, baby, uh-uh, you need your power. You need your strength. And that's the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is what drew you. You know how you feel that tugging? You're like, what is that? That's the Spirit of God drawing you to Him. They're saying, no, nah, don't do that. It's time. Come on. Give in. That's that, that feeling. That's the Holy Spirit. But then, listen, you have to receive the gift. He's the one that draw you, but He's also your power. In John, it talks about the Holy Spirit. John chapter 14. Read it. It talks about the Holy Spirit. He's your, your mediator, your comforter, your standby. He's your help. He said, listen, Jesus said, I, I can't be everywhere, but I'm going to send you some help who can. And so when you receive the Holy Spirit, who is your power, y'all? It's that simple. And it's, li it's literally listening to the voice of God. And I want to go back a little bit because I know I talk fast. But let me explain. 
the more you spend time, because some people say, you know, I hear, I, it's hard to hear. I, it's not. Think about it. Think about a friendship or relationship that you've had that you spend time with. And it's like, y'all almost start finishing each other's words. Or if you've ever had where you think about somebody and they dial and you pick up the phone like, girl, I was just about to call you, that's funny. The reality is you probably spend so much time with them and you talk to them a lot. So you know their voice, you know their habits. It's the same thing with God. The more you spend time in his word, the more you're praying, you're reading that word, you're meditating on that word. You know, you begin to know him. You begin to hear him. You you can listen to a message and the Lord will have something stick right out. And you know that was for you. You'll open up the Bible and he'll begin to speak to you his word. So it don't make it hard. Just spend some time with him. And the more you spend time in your word, that's how you begin to know the voice of God. Because his, listen, his voice always aligns with his word. Okay? And that's a process. That's a process. But I want to encourage you today. Come on over on the Lord's side. Listen. So that's all I got today. I want you to be encouraged to know God is able. I don't care what you're facing. God is able. But it's him working through you. He has the ability. He has the power. He has the skill. He wants the opportunity to work through you. So that means, listen, you got to partner with him. Go on and give him access to that marriage. Give him access to your life because he said, I can do great and mighty things. All right, listen, so I'm going to go on the shower. I pray that bless y'all. Now, listen, a little bit of housekeeping. For those of you that have messaged me, the boot camp is over. The Get Fit Boot Camp is open. You can go onto the website, www.latricebartley.com, and you can begin to sign up. The new class is starting in April. Y'all, the first six weeks, it flew by. And I got to work with some, oh my God, some women that I love so much. I mean, God just did a new thing. And if you're wondering, what is the Get Fit Boot Camp? It is our opportunity to get fit. It is a coaching platform that God gave me. And listen, come on and let me coach you. I want to work with you because we are stronger together. We are not just about shedding pounds. So if you coming in here for a diet plan, this might not be the plan for you. I'm just going to let you know. We about shedding weight and pounds. Because guess what? Your outer is a demonstration of your inner. And, and just because you might be skinny, that don't mean nothing because you might be obese inside. You might be full of uh, pettiness and unforgiveness and heavy. So God wants us to share weight, but it's an inside out process. And when we begin to share weight, y'all, we lose pounds. So it's my platform to encourage and work with others, pushing us because here's the bottom line. Our body is our vehicle to purpose. So we got to take care of this body, our mind, our spirit, and our soul because God has things for you to do. So listen, if you want to work with me, if you want some encouragement, if you want somebody that's a little crazy, a little funny, but it's going to push you to purpose, I'm your girl. So you can sign up. All right. Remember, God is able. He is able. Trust him. Believe him. Do not doubt. And let's walk this thing out. Have a good week. Bye.